Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on page 13. The name of this piece here, When You Grow Up. Uh, this is in the Alfred's All in One Book 4. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We are working with, once again, the sixth interval from C to A. In the left hand, we're not actually playing the sixth interval, but our thumb does move over to A when playing the third interval of F to A. Mm -hmm. And that happens when the right hand plays a, a C to A. Let's go ahead and listen to this piece. Here we go. One, two, three. pedal there at the end. All right, let's go ahead now talk a little bit about these notes, one system at a time. We're gonna go ahead and play and say the note name. Most of it is, well, half of it is non-legato and some of it also is legato. So let's keep in mind where those lifts are supposed to happen and where we are supposed to play smooth and connected. Okay, starting with the right hand first, we're gonna play and say the notes non-legato. Here we go. One, two, three. C, A, A, C, G, G, C, F, F, E, E. Okay, so that one is pretty good. Let's go ahead now with the left hand. We once again talked about playing F and A. Now the reason why we're playing it with fingers two and one here is in the C position, Usually F is on, or excuse me, two is on F, but when we play up to A, the thumb is actually gonna either play G or A. We're, take, we're kind of sharing some responsibility here. And for that reason, it's gonna be finger number one when playing A. And finger number two will still remain on, on the key of F. Let's go ahead and play through these harmonic intervals. Are these notes ready? One, two, three. Third, two, three, then third here, two, three, E and G, two, three, and then third of D and F, fingers two and four, C, third, rest. Playing them together, very slowly, one at a time, one measure at a time, ready. right hand will be a little bit louder. Okay, so to the next system, let's play through these notes. Ready? D, E, F, F, E, F, G, G, E, D, E, F, G, E, D, etc. All right, let's go ahead now talk about that. So we have eighth notes, one and two, lift, three, lift, one and two to sequence, three, Legato here, these are just quarter notes. G, two, lift, E, D, and that picks us up back into the next system. And then for the left hand, we have the following intervals of second, two, three, lift, fifth, two, three, lift, second, two, three, and then C, third, rest. And then when we're going to put them together, let's go ahead and remember we have those mixed articulations, keeping the legatos where they're supposed to be. There's a lift right there. Hands always lift together. Except for here, when we continue with the legato. Now this, this system here is pretty much the same as the first system. Uh, this E, just like we did at the first system, but um, we're now going to play it legato, 
from here all the way to the very end. Let's go ahead and go to these notes here. E, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, E, D, C. Okay, nice. And notice that the interval or the rhythm is one, two, and three, the dotted quarter eighth quarter rhythm that is going to be done three times until we get to the very end. The left hand is pretty similar to what we did kind of in the second, but just a little bit of a difference. We have second, two, three, lift, third, two, three, second, two, three, get your foot ready for pedal, and then C, third. There should be still a lift in the left hand when going from C to third, making sure that both E and G come down together, and then of course holding it for the fermata. There's the review of the both hands. Get ready. Okay, fermata. It says here, let's go ahead now and try it. It says, after playing the piece twice, repeat the last line slowly and softly with both hands at uh, an octave higher. Okay, so let's go ahead now, play through, and sing the music for both verses. Here we go, from the beginning. One, two, three. When you grow up, what would you like to be? A mother or a father with a fine family? So that's the song. Let's go ahead and practice both hands, uh, for hands separately first. Then when putting them together slowly, do it one measure at a time, uh, keeping in mind the articulations and the dynamics, especially when playing the right hand a little bit louder. And thank you. We will see you next lesson.